Today I'm so excited to show you my Halloween home decor and along with the tour I'm going to be pointing out my favorite ways to incorporate seasonal living into your own home. So we'll go through my favorite things to swap out season to season that you can really easily incorporate into your own home. So let's take the tour. Starting with an overview of the entry. So you'll notice I changed out my teal wreath for this sparkly orange one. And then on my console table, I have some fun seasonal things and then some witch brooms. Getting up close and personal with this wreath, you'll notice it's glitter rosettes and pine cones. And I absolutely love this wreath and I love that it goes from fall all the way through Thanksgiving until we are able to bust out our Christmas decor. I love things that go the whole season. I love to have specific Halloween stuff too, as you'll see, but it's also nice to have those things that room, remain throughout the whole fall season. Okay, on my entryway, I have this jack-o'-lantern. This is a few dollars at Target, and I've just been using it for Sunday's leash, but what's really cool is I have a light in here, and you can't see it right now because it is the daytime, of course, but at night, this actually lights up different colors, so those are really inexpensive. I think I got that one at Target, but it lights up purple and green and blue and so it creates kind of this cool illusion coming in the entryway which I just love and then I have I've kind of been using this as a charging station so I have my iPad and my phone charging there it's all tuckered out from vlogging and if you're wondering what it's sitting on it's this amazing gorilla tripod that I use for vlogging so if you watch my vlogs that's what I'm using and I absolutely love it. I'll link it below in case any of you are vloggers. Here in this tray, I just switched out Sunday's potty bags for some, the pink ones for some orange ones. So a very functional seasonal update. But what I want to point out is my first kind of seasonal tip, and that is to use trays liberally. You'll notice throughout my home tour, I have three or four different trays that you'll see. And they're such a great way to keep clutter at bay. And also you can very easily switch them out with seasonal items. So I just have some facial tissue here. I didn't do too much on this tray, but you'll see other places in my home where I just really switch out things that I might already have, but I just showcase them on trays and give things a seasonal look that maybe aren't seasonal, like orange books or um, you know nail polish you'll see in my house so say things like that so that's seasonal tip number one my last tour then you saw this vase had a big white oversized flower in it and now it has some witch brooms so I made these maybe three or four years ago and they're glitter witch brooms very hocus pocus and I think I got the brooms at Hobby Lobby, just sprayed them with some glitter spray paint, added some bows, and that was a wrap. So really simple, inexpensive DIY. With the stove area, you'll see that I like to change out this left side of my stove pretty regularly. And I have a spooky vanilla candle, which is a French vanilla and marshmallow candle. And here is number two seasonal tip is change out your cookbooks, right? Make something that is both functional and seasonal. So this is my pumpkin pie spice cookbook. If you're like, oh my gosh, I need that. I'll link it below. I think it was like eight bucks on Amazon. So really easy, something that I use and something that is so fun to switch out for the season and try different recipes. Right next to it I have my olive oil and I have little pumpkin dispensers on there so that's a fun a fun tip not one of my tips that I had planned for you guys but that's an easy one for something that's functional and seasonal so I shared in my last one of my videos that I like to roast vegetables and I use olive oil probably every other day so that's something that's really handy and you know something that I can just grab and and smile because it has a pumpkin dispenser on it. 
not too much change, not too much interesting to see on my stove. I did switch out my salt and pepper shakers and this is tip number three. So salt and pepper shakers are such a fun, simple way to swap out your home decor, right? That's another thing that's really functional and really inexpensive. I think all of my salt and pepper shakers were under $10. Most of them are from Ross and for Thanksgiving, I have turkey ones. These ones really aren't very seasonal. I've been on the lookout for some witch salt and pepper shakers for years, but I haven't found any witch hat salt and pepper shakers. So moving down on the stove, I have some seasonal kitchen towels. So here's another thing that's, you know, under $10, really easy to swap out for the season. So I have some little orange and black kitchen towels that have little witch booties on them and I have a Halloween apron for my Halloween bacon but that's such a simple thing to swap out for fall or Christmas or whatever season it is and really just give your your kitchen some color and make you a little more excited to do some dishes backboard I like to make little drink stations so here I have a coffee station with my Tarani pumpkin pie spice, some orange and black straws, and then I have some candy corn here in this little jack-o'-lantern mug, which you guys will recognize from my home decor haul. So here's another example of the use of trays and then also, you know, something that's really functional. Moving to the right of it, I have some dressed up wine bottles. Something else you'll notice I switch out for the seasons and that is I like to get festive looking wine bottles and put little costumes on them. So here, this front one's decked out as a witch of course and then the pumpkin in the back says Fright Night Cellars. I just have some fun Halloween pumpkin cupcakes there. And then that middle one is an orange candle. And then on the right, it says, Tell Death Do Us Part. And it has a skull. I can get you guys a good shot of this guy. So yeah, it says Dearly Beloved. And then on the bottom, it says, Tell Death Do Us Part. And there's just another witch hat. And this one's actually a cork. So it is functional. And this one just goes on top for your unopened wine bottles. So as you may know, I'm from Napa. So I have a lot of love for, for wine since that was a big part of, you know, my culture growing up. All right, moving on to my KitchenAid mixer. So this you guys have seen in many a home tour if you guys are veterans, and that is my use of cupcake papers. So I lost count on which number tip we're on, but cupcake papers, here's another example, right? Just a few dollars and there's ones in every season and you can put these in any jar. You guys have seen me put them in apothecary jars before. You know, you can just leave them out for your baking or you can, you know, just keep them in a jar for decoration. I've done both. So I just put them inside my KitchenAid because I just thought it was fun. And yeah, just some festive cupcake papers. So over to the right, I have a wine glass. So again, with the wine, and it is just filled with some Target pumpkins. So this is another way to just, you know, fill up a jar with something that was a couple dollars that you can enjoy all season long. So these pumpkins I think were $5 at Target. I'm sure a lot of you have looked for them. They were very popular this season, but just an easy, simple way to add some festive color to your home. And then on my sink, I have some pumpkin, or I guess it's marshmallow pumpkin latte. So I've been using some seasonal soap and you guys saw that in my fall candle haul, which I'll link below if you haven't seen it. We're doing seven days of fall if you're just catching up with us. So this area really isn't part of the home tour, but I had some fun stuff that I haven't shown you guys yet. So I thought I would do so. So this candy dish in the back is part of the home tour, as well as this little witch sign that says, hand over the Halloween candy and no one gets changed into a toad. So which better have my candy? And inside it, I just have actually some all natural organic candy corn, and they're not quite as bright as the Brock's ones, but I thought I would see how they measured up against the traditional candy corn. Haven't tried them yet. And on the left, I just have my new Kate Spade tumbler. I was just using that for water, obviously. And I love it. It's I think it was $18 on Amazon. I'll link it below, a little impromptu part of the tour. Then I got Sunday and Daisy, my doggies, their Halloween presents. And then I got this tissue paper at 
Target. It was a couple bucks and it'll be fun to wrap up some Halloween presents. Sunday and Daisy love to open presents. That is their favorite. So they will get some fun toys. And then this stuff I just have sitting out because I am making a Halloween birthday present for my best friend and college roommate. Shout out to Ruan. Look how cute this card is. She's having a Halloween party. So I got her some festive things for her Halloween party. I've got taper candles and some roses. Whole Foods was out of orange roses, so I got these because I thought they were extra, extra Halloween-y. They are, oh, they're not quite, they're not quite coming out in focus, but they have black petals. The edges are black, and I thought those were very Halloween-y. And then taper candles is another one of my tips for incorporating seasonal home decor. So taper candles are a couple dollars at Hobby Lobby, which is where I usually get them, but you know, you can find taper candles anywhere. Cost Plus is also a great spot. And you know, these are so easy to switch out. They come in all colors. My candlesticks I got in an antique shop. I think it was 20 bucks for the set. So just a really fun, easy way to incorporate seasonal things again. You may recognize this Cinderella looking pillow from my home decor haul. So it's here on the end of my couch. The other side of my couch I have my of course my favorite library pillow and this pumpkin from Z Gallery. So it is actually a pumpkin pillow. I've also seen them at Hobby Lobby and I just absolutely love this this pillow. I thought that the stem on the pillow looked great with the library shelves there and then this little critter my mama gave me for Halloween one year a wise back. So switching up pillows is a great seasonal change as well. Maybe not as inexpensive as some of the other ones I have mentioned so far, but a great one nonetheless. Same with candles and flowers. So I like to switch out my flowers, which you know if you've been with me for a while. A pumpkin carving candle burning, which is one of my favorite candles Bath and Body Works comes out with every year. This one was not in my candle haul. It came out after I went. And then some orange roses. Love my fresh flowers. I have one that I like to get every month and I like to get the Whole Foods Fair Trade Roses. Not too much has changed here in the library. It's got enough going on without me adding too much seasonal stuff, but you'll see some pumpkins up there. One is next to Marilyn, and then there's a glitter pumpkin there on the left side. And I just made those glitter pumpkins a few years back. Into my office, I didn't change up too much in here, but I, there's a couple things I wanna point out to you. Of course, you've seen my seasonal clothing, and I just put a couple Halloween costumes here in the end. So this is Sunday's princess costume, and she will be wearing this when she goes to trick-or-treat at Jima's house. And then I just put a tutu on there for fun, a nice fall scarf, and yeah, the rest we kind of went through on my last home tour since that was only a couple weeks ago. And then on my desk, I have candy corn and a little polka dot pillar candle that matches the tapers out in the living room. Anything else? I like to switch out my planners to seasonal covers, which won't surprise you. This first cover is on my vertical Erin Cauldron planner, and you'll recognize that one from last year. And this one is a new acquisition. Those of you who pop in for vlogs have already seen this guy, but I absolutely love this very Art Deco, old Hollywood looking cover I got, and it's kind of Halloween-y. And then I also like to swap out my Glam Planner cover as well for the season. So I have that fall looking Filofax and then my Kiki. And of course, you know, the planner stickers. Gotta swap out the planner stickers. That's one of the most fun parts. Up here on the top of my shelf, I put a witch hat over my apothecary jar of gumballs. I put a little black pumpkin, speckly pumpkin back there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the decor here in the office. I like, I like to, keep to keep it pretty paper and glam classic, but again, this isn't a vlog, but I absolutely love my new journal from Erin Condren. It's a notebook that I am using for the new season here in LA. So I have that sitting out kind of to display some of my favorite moments as of late and inspire me when I'm in here working into my bedroom, closet area, and bathroom. So here on the door I have a October 31st 
sign and this I just got from Home Goods, I believe. It was a couple of dollars, so that's really fun for Halloween. And then over here, I have a matching wreath that you will recognize from my home decor haul. And it is black and orange, and it is glittery. So pretty. And I just put that on my closet door. That way I have something fun and festive to see every time I walk into my room. Bathroom. This one is a simple, simple room. I don't put too much in the bathroom usually. Here on the door I just have a little lush, lush pumpkin. And this was part of the Halloween gift set. So stay tuned for a lush haul this coming week. And then in the tub here I have a pumpkin loofah. This is from Bath and Body Works. They have it every year. They still have it. And then a little witch taking a bath. This is from Michael's. I got this a few years back, but Michael's always has really fun things like that. thought a witch taking a bath was exactly what my bathroom needed. And then I also have some Halloween bubble bath. It is clock struck midnight, so kind of a Cinderella reference there. And it smells delicious. That is from Ulta, and they again have them every year. Moving over here you will see I like to keep some seasonal lush bath bombs and I have a sparkly pumpkin and a new pyramid looking one that's it's not officially Halloween but a purple and orange pyramid looks Halloween to me so we'll talk more about lush this week. I have some orange and black nail polish my favorite Halloween nail polish which is the Butter London Sun Baker nail polish they don't have it at Ulta anymore, but it's still on Amazon. I always get questions about that. And then a sweater weather candle. It's not quite focusing, but you guys get the idea. Okay, here is my bedroom. The first thing you will notice is I changed out my bedding. So this bedding is the Emily and Merritt collection for PB Teen. It is gold polka dots, as you can see, and I like to rock this bedding from fall all the way through until spring when my little rose bedding comes out again. I just love it. I'll link it below if it's still available. In the back corner here, I switched out my pink floral for this sparkly branch that has some twinkle lights on it. It looks really pretty at night. And then I have a candle and some candy corn and then some seasonal books. Again, this may be something you already have. And I have Frankenstein and Grace's memoir, Grace Connington's memoir, which are the Paper and Glam book club reads for October. So I'm working through both of those at the same time. I'm not always in the mood for, for some Brit Lit and Grace is just, oh, she's just awesome. I have loved her book so far. I am burning my very favorite fall candle, which is the Autumn Candle. And this is a little Le Creuset Cosette and it has a mix of the pumpkin candy corn and the regular candy corn in it. Luckily, I'm not a huge candy corn <laughs> person, so it's more, more decorative than anything. And then I just have my journal, if you're wondering. I just have it up. You guys probably may not have seen the front of it, but it says, with, flower, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? And that is an Oscar Wilde quote. And that pretty much, pretty much sums up my... Oh, my outlook on life. Put love Jesus, love others before it, and that's pretty much, pretty much my <laughs> outlook on life. I didn't change anything on my bed. I have been looking for some seasonal pillows for my bed, but they have evaded me. Always next year. It's part of the hunt. Moving on to my dresser, I went all out and created a glammy pumpkin just fiesta here on my dresser. And then over here, I have my Halloween movies and you guys can tell me which Halloween movie I need next. Right, so moving from right to left on my dresser of Glamoweeny pumpkins, this one on the right you recognize most likely from my fall home decor haul if you were with me for that. And then this beautiful Cinderella pumpkin from Joann's. And then a little glitter pumpkin that I made a few years back. And then a witch hat headband, a pumpkin, another one. I just glued a mask on it because if you guys watch my home decor haul, you know I have a mask thing. So we'll move into some, some masks. 
I guess I have a mask theme, not a mask theme. So this is my new mask for this year, and I think it's my very favorite. If it's like if Paper and Glam were a mask, it would be that one. And then a little spider ring, a polka dot pumpkin from Joann's, another mask on my apothecary jars, my little clutches for going out. In this apothecary jar, I put some more pumpkins from the Target dollar. I guess it's not the dollar section this year. They were last year. They are $5 this year. And then another witch headband. And then another sparkly pumpkin I made with pink polka dots. And another mask. Oh, and on the edge here, we have another glammy pumpkin from my haul. Which is a very edgy glammy pumpkin with spikes. All right, moving over here to my TV, you will see my Halloween movie collection and just another little glammy pumpkin next to my Apple TV. Okay, so from left to right, I have It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, which was new for this year. I have Practical Magic, Adam's Family, Adam's Family Values, Casper, The Haunted Mansion, Hocus Pocus, and then the three Halloween Town movies, which you guys said, well, I guess there's four, but one of them has two in one. And you guys said I had to have the Halloween Town movies last year, and I got them, so, Next year will be the same. You pick one and I'll pick one. This year I picked It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and I've just kind of been getting one every Halloween, and that is just a fun tradition that I started, and I like it. I do the same for Christmas. All right, last but not least, on this nightstand I have one more mask, some pumpkin taper candles in little, or they're orange taper candles in little pumpkin stands. I just got those from a little boutique a couple years back. And then another cat mask on a pink pumpkin. And then a little a little handmade pumpkin that has a real pumpkin stem and then a pink felt body. And that is about it. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween home tour and it gave you some fresh ideas for your own home. Plus got you fired up for Halloween or Glamoween as I call it. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and let me know and or hit subscribe if you have not done so already. We would love to have you as part of the Paper and Glam community. No matter what your interests are pretty much, whether it's planning or reading or home decor, we have a Paper and Glam group for each of those. So we'd love to have you with us as part of the Glam fam, as we lovingly call our little band of like-minded women. A couple housekeeping things before we adjourn for this video. As far as what's coming up, I have a Lush haul for you this week, and then next weekend we will do a plan with me. I know I promised you an October plan with me, and you will get one. I've had one technical difficulty after another, but we will do a very Glamoweeny plan with me next weekend, all right? Also, Glam November is releasing tomorrow or as soon as I finish editing this video. And if you are new to the Paper and Glam planning community, every month I come out with a list of fun things to celebrate throughout the month. This month there's Espresso Day and lots of fun celebrations that you can incorporate into your own month and just gives you a reason to celebrate. So I make stickers for each of those days and kind of release a set of monthly planner goods. So that is coming out very shortly for next month. And definitely stay tuned for more fun seven days of fall videos. So we still have a couple left. Still gonna do a what's in my bag, a fall home tour. And let's see, we already talked about Lush. And yeah, there's two plan with me's coming up and yeah, lots to stick around for. So thank you so much for watching. And one last thing for those of you who are still with me, I will be hosting an Erin Condren giveaway. There's going to be a 10 planner giveaway and the winners will be announced on Halloween. It's going to be from Instagram. That's the only place I'm going to announce it. So go follow me on Instagram. Those of you who are already following me, you are in the know. Get ready for a Halloween trick-or-treat planner giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Happy Halloween!